Hi my loves, so I'm making this video to show you how to shift your timeline from something that you don't desire into something that you do desire with very simple steps. It's actually incredibly simple, so. When you get an intuitive reading or you talk to a psychic, they will get a possible future outcome because there's many based on your current vibration, your thoughts, your patterns, your current energy. And they'll see what is most likely to happen based on your current vibration and where you're currently at in your life. Now there's a hundred if not thousands of possible future outcomes for you, but what they will see and what they will tell you is the ones that are the most likely to happen based on your current vibrational set point. But you can change that because you don't have to be stuck with anything that you do not want. You just have to learn how to change your vibrational set point. So to do this, first you have to acknowledge where it is that you're at and what it is that you desire. Now I talk about this a lot and it's one of the main reasons why people's manifestation tools are not working. And so I actually already made a video talking about that and I recommend you watching that to better understand what it is that I'm talking about. But here in this case, once you've acknowledged what it is that you want, then you have to get out of the way and let the universe deliver. Now, that might not be as simple for everyone, but to get there, first you have to look at where you're currently at. What does your current energy look like? How close are you to get to that thing that it is that you desire out in your future? And another question is, how are you likely to react to something. If you're someone who gets angry or triggered or offended easily, then you might have to look at that very energy so that you can change that and change the vibration that you're emitting. Because if you get angry, as you probably know, in order to attract something, you have to act like you already have it. And so how does that correlate with you know that it's something that you want that's out in the future and you're working towards getting it, but at the same time, you have to act like you already have it. Like I said, first, take a step backwards here. First, you have to work with your current energy, your shadows. And when you do that, you change your energy, you change your vibration. And when you change your vibration, you also change the possible future outcomes, which means you change your timeline. So the secret is really not that secret. It all goes back to self-awareness and doing the inner work. Now, I know a lot of people like to use a lot of different words to talk about the same topic, but you change your vibration, you change what you attract, and therefore you change your timeline. While getting there might not be that simple, the recipe is really simple. So the main challenge in this recipe, I guess, is to get out of the way, so to say. Once you put something out there that you would like to attract or like to manifest, how do you allow the universe to deliver without getting in the way? Now people get in the way when they start being attached to getting it, attached to it showing up a certain way or at a certain time. When you're attached to anything in regards to what it is that you desire, then you're not letting it come to you because you think your plan, your ideas are better than the universe. So to get out of the way in simple steps, observe what it is that comes up when it comes up. Is it anger? Is it frustration? Is it impatience? Is it a lack of discipline? Whatever it is, question yourself. This is where the inner work and doing the shadow work and looking at like self-awareness comes in. Because without that, you cannot see when you're basically shooting yourself in the foot and not getting what it is that you desire. So are you just saying, yeah, I'd like a blue car to show up in my driveway randomly today because I don't know anyone with a blue car. You probably don't care about that. And so you have very little attachment to those things. So a little commercial break. You know, I said blue car. This is my neighbor pulled into my driveway literally an hour after I did the video, I went outside to do some different work and uh, they have two white cars. For some reason today, there is a brand new blue car in the driveway. Just, just saying. That's why you see small things often manifesting a lot faster. When you talk about something, all of a sudden they show up because you just talked about it and then you let it go. And that's what you have to do with bigger things as well. And so that is how you get out of the way. Release attachment, have impeccable self-awareness, and be willing to question and ask yourself the big questions. So your timeline is basically just looking at your future. Parallel realities are realities that are happening simultaneously as this one. And if you want to change something, 
that's happening now or that's happening in the future you have to first change where you're currently at which means changing your <laughs> identity well i guess you could say identity changing your vibration or actually identity might be a good way to put it as well because we have a certain identity we have a certain viewpoint as to this is who i am this is what i like this is what i don't like who we are and a lot of people are set in that and in order to become something new, you have to let go of your identity. You have to be willing to not be attached to certain things. And so when we do that self-work, it basically means we're changing our identity in a way, depending on how broad you want to go with the term identity. So that's basically how you change your timeline. I'll let you watch the other video on why your manifestation game is very likely not working. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Stick around for more magical moments and I will see you soon. Thank you.